Good morning, YouTube. This morning I read um, parts of the book of Job. Actually, I've just finished reading Job this morning. And you know, when you read Job, it's really humbling. You know, um, Elihu, Elihu was the one who arrived last. And um, from Job 32. And you know, Elihu says in um, in Job thirty three, verse twelve to fourteen, Behold, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee, that God is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him? For he giveth not account of any of his matters. For God speaketh once, yea twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. And then in verse 17 it says that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. And then in chapter 34, starting at verse 35, he says, Job hath spoken without knowledge, and his words were without wisdom. My desire is that Job may be tried unto the end because of his answers for wicked men. For he addeth rebellion unto his sin, he clappeth his hands among us, and multiplieth his words against God. You know, all throughout Job, Job is having this conversation with his uh, three friends, Eddie who arrives later, and um, Bildad and Zophar and Eliphaz are trying to tell Job that, you know, God would never afflict a person like he's being afflicted without some kind of proper reg like unless he deserved it for his wickedness. And Job seeks to justify himself. Uh, most of the times when, when Job is speaking he says, you know, basically, I have done this, I have done that. And it says that, um, it says in places in Job 31, If I have withheld the poor from their desire, or have caused their eyes of a widow to fail, or have eaten my morsel myself alone, and the fatherless have not eaten thereof. Basically, in many places in Job, before chapter 32, when Job is speaking, he is justifying himself and it says in Job 32 verse 1 so these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes you know how many of us are righteous in our own eyes but notice what Elihu says it says, when Elihu saw, this is from verse 5 in the chapter 32, when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, then his wrath was kindled. And Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzhite, answered and said, I am young, and ye are very old. Wherefore I was afraid, and durst not show you mine opinion. So in other words, Elihu is respecting the facts that they're older than he. I said, days should speak, and a multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in a man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgments. It's not, even though you might be older, you don't always understand judgments, you're not always wise. And so even then, it's, it's so humbling to read. And then also, uh, you know, from verse 38 to the end, when God is speaking, he asks him 84 questions. God speaking to Job, and these are, these are rhetorical questions. Because the obvious answer is that God has made everything. And God is so great, so far above us, we just should just give glory to him. So anyway, I just felt like coming on YouTube this morning and recording The Fire of God by a band called Christ Our Life. So, 
for it's written in um, Hebrews 12:29 that God is a consuming fire. Father, cleanse these filthy hands. I long for brokenness for all my sin and shame. The tears you wept are numb but the sand. With every sin I know, I break your heart again. Help me to understand your pain. When I conform to this world and blaspheme your holy name. Help me to understand your words. Ever I'm a friend of this world, it's hatred towards my God. Fire of God, burn in me, consume all my wickedness. So I will not love this world So I will not be a friend of this world any longer So I will not be a friend of this world any longer Father, break my prideful heart. I come before you humbly so I can stand and wash my dirty feet. Every from your path and walked on unholy land. Help me to understand your pain. When I conform to this world and blaspheme your holy name. Help me to understand your word. If I'm a friend of this world, it's hatred towards my God. Fire of God, burn in me. Consume all my wickedness. So I will not love this world So I will not be a friend of this world any longer Fire of God, burn in me Consume all my wickedness so I will not love this world So I will not be a friend of this world any longer So I will not be a friend of this world any longer Fire of God Burn in me, consume all my wickedness, so I will not love this world. So I will not be a friend of this world any longer. So I will not be a friend of this world any longer.
Lord, remove everything out of our hearts which is contrary to your will and against your nature. So many things inside of us, even things which are disguised as good things and righteous things, which are really wicked things. And Lord, I just ask that the fire of God will consume all our wicked lusts and passions. Praise Jesus for the good things that he has done.